I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find average rate of change for trigonometric functions. Question is, what is the average rate of change on the interval x greater than or equal to pi less than or equals to 4 pi by 3 for the function y equals to 4 sin x minus 7. As we know the average rate of change let's say like average rate of change is equals to the value of the function at point B minus value of function at point A the x value over B minus A so that is what the formula is so what we'll do is that we we'll use calculator to find what is the value at pi what is the value at 4 pi by 3 and then we'll use the formula and find average rate of change so normally A is your lower limit and B is the higher limit so we can find what is value the function at 4 pi by 3 by substituting 4 pi by 3 here so we get 4 sine 4 pi by 3 within brackets minus 7 and then we'll see what is the value of the function at pi which is 4 sine pi we know 4 sine pi should be 0 minus 7 and what is b minus a b minus a for us will be 4 pi by 3 minus pi right which is you can take 3 here which is pi by 3 we know sine pi is 0 so this should be minus 7 and now let's calculate the value for 4 times sine pi by 3 so that is 4 times within brackets sorry okay so let's do it again 4 times sine of within brackets 4 pi is second function in my case divided by 3 bracket close equal to minus 7 equals 2 and then we'll write decimal value which is minus 10.4641 so it is minus 10.4641 so we have all the values and now we can substitute these values in the given equation I mean this formula and find the average rate of change so f of b is minus 10.4641 minus of minus 7 divided by b minus a which is pi by 3 okay? so let's use calculator again to figure out this answer we already have the first number minus 10.4641 so we'll add 7 to this equals 2 and we are going to divide it by within brackets pi divided by 3 bracket close equals 2 so it says minus 3.3079 right so that is approximately minus 3.3 3. So the instantaneous rate of change at this point is minus 3.3. So that is how you can calculate it. Thank you.